Hey guys, welcome back. I'm BJ. This is Brickhouse Builds. And in today's video, we're back on the free GS550 that we're reviving from sitting since the late 80s. And in this video, we're focused on switching out the old dry crack tires in favor of some new Shinkos. So this thing's ready for the road. Stick around. All right, so we're back on the GS550 here. Next up, tires. So this is gonna be one of the main, the, well, it's actually just gonna be the last thing we need to make this thing road legal and safe, of course. So um, at the time of recording this right now, next week I have an inspection and uh, that's basically for an IDOD safety inspection to make sure this thing's you know, ready to go for Missouri laws and Missouri roads. From there, I can actually go and apply uh, and swap out the Vermont registration, hopefully for the Missouri title. So far, it's been a pretty straightforward process, but in order to take that next step, you know, this thing has to be ready. So we're gonna go ahead and put some tires on it. All right, and for tires, we have some Shinko 712s. So I've used these before. They're just good tires. Are there better tires? Absolutely. Is this bike necessarily deserving of better tires? That's debatable. It's not a it's not a high performance, super crazy bike. So we're just gonna put on some regular tires that aren't that expensive. I got these things through Revzilla. I'll link them below. And uh, yeah, they're you know nothing bad about them. So we're gonna slap these things on there. They cost me oh probably about 180 for the pair or something like that. They're really affordable. They're decent tires. And the fact that I don't get to put a lot of miles on stuff means that we're not just going to like go through them or anything like that. So win, win, win. So of course we're gonna be doing the front wheels first. While we're at it, I wanna go ahead and pull off this reflector bracket. One thing I'm debating on is painting the wheels black. Um, it would look better. I don't wanna put a lot of effort into this thing, which means I probably will. So, let's see how it feels. So thing of note uh, about my table here, my wheel chalk, I use a uh, Condor, Condor wheel chalks, and these are for more like trailers and stuff. And originally this lift came with like this, the screw type and man, I hate those things so much. You saw, I just had this thing on the table without holding it, no straps. I mean, I just strapped it down to, to lift the front, but man, put this thing on there. It's adjustable front to back for various wheel sizes. You roll the bike up and you can walk away, you know, within reason to go the, go ahead and then grab straps. So another bonus to this thing is the ability to remove your front wheel once this thing's already on the table. That's a game changer. Definitely like using these. And because I like this one so much, that's why I put two more in my van. And of course, while we're in here, pull off a couple parts and just clean them a little bit, scrub some stuff down. Get the fender off, 
pop these fork legs down, pull this horrendous thing down. Again, this thing's per pretty much a race bike. We're making it lighter, you know. Once you start removing stuff, it's a race bike. And unfortunately, like, I know a lot of you have asked me, can't wait to see what you do with it. Thinking, you know, I'm, I'm not, this isn't going to be a build. This one's going to just pretty, once we're done with these tires, it's pretty well going to stay just like this. And the reason being, I just have so many other bikes that I'm doing, you know. There's probably eight individual builds besides this one that are builds, you know. And I just simply don't have the time. So that's why this one's just kind of a down and dirty quick, just a rider, you know. Amazingly, I mean amazingly, I have not touched the fork seals. They're 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 not seeping anything. They seem perfect. Nice plastic piece. Not nice plastic piece. Just slide this out of the way. rid of it forever. I get it. It's covering the wiring, but eh. I don't like it. Uh, you know, the more I think about it, I'm just going to go ahead and clean these things. They look good. I need to not make everything a project, so. Uh, yep. Clean them, put them back on. Some of you guys are cringing at touching the rim on the concrete, but not a show bike. Just gonna get it done.
my neighbors next door are working on this like eye rocker. Actually, it's a Firebird. Mid 90s, maybe early 90s. Never met him, but I kind of want to go over there and see what that thing's all about. So luckily, you know, I saw the valve stem on there, and it looked like it was a tube type. But of being mags, you know, you don't see it as often. Luckily, I do have two valve stems. And we're gonna fit in here. I know a little layer of permatex is overkill. That's okay. All right, now the fun part. I had these things sitting in the sun for a while. Get them a little soft. Our direction to travel is this way. It has a traditional looking tread pattern, actually. Our disc is on the left. We'll throw it on like that. A little silicone lubricant. Timer says nine minutes and six seconds. That's including wiping it down.
right there. All right, you get the rest. What's the beer? So, I run into an issue here. That axle is in line with the muffler. Yay! I'm not pulling the exhaust off. I think what I'm going to do is see if I can just pop the shocks off and then lower the bike down to where the axle is above the exhaust and see if I can get it out that way. If not, saws off? I don't know. I'm going to have to take off the exhaust. Take off the exhaust. Kind of a bummer. My idea totally worked. I can't cut the exhaust off now or at least have a good excuse to. thing has new skins front and back definitely happy that I took the time and just like scrubbed the wheels down and stuff you can see my hands are still filthy from it but looking a lot better the old tires are just very dry cracked and stuff as you would expect but yeah just scrub the forks a little bit right here. They had a little bit of like goo and tar on them or whatever. Just got that cleaned up. Uh, obviously we got the uh, forks back on here without the chrome, I don't know, reflector holder thing. So just a lot cleaner. I think tomorrow the overall goal is just to ride this thing. Maybe I can put a couple hundred miles on it or something. That would be really cool. And then it's just ready for the season. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to take today. It's Sunday for me, so I'm going to try to enjoy this thing. Got the tires on it and we have our signals we have everything ready to go so this thing is pretty much ready for the road just have to pass a safety inspection all right guys that's going to do it for this video we have the tires swapped out no more dangerous dry cracked old dunlops here so i'm going to take today i'm going to try to do some more shakedown miles on this thing and i don't know see if we can put maybe maybe a couple hundred miles on it or something like that that'd be really cool and uh, we'll see how it goes this thing's almost dialed and ready for riding season. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, definitely be sure to subscribe. And uh, check me out on social media. I post all kinds of stuff if you want to see behind the scenes of you know what I'm doing day to day on projects like this, other things, customs, adventure rides, just anything I'm doing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to support Brickhouse Builds even further, Head to my website. I have shirts, hoodies, hats. Uh, I got some sticker packs on there that are really cool. So anyway, yeah, check those out. And any orders are greatly appreciated. So anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.